Thanks, and when the new Congress is in place next year, the House Select Committee on Climate Crisis will no longer be around. But before the committee wraps up, they released a final report on what Congress can work on to fight climate crisis. So tonight, our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp has that story. The House Select Committee on the Climate Crisis says the climate crisis is unmistakably here. We've already experienced raging wildfires, hazardous air quality, ocean acidification that's harming fisheries. They say climate disasters are putting America's security and stability at risk and threatening our economy, our way of life, and our communities. Climate disasters are inflicting billions in damages across the country. In a final report from the committee, they list their accomplishments which address climate change. We passed the bipartisan infrastructure law to make communities more resilient and electrify transportation. We passed the CHIPS Act to empower our industries to lead the clean energy uh, transition. And we passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which is the largest clean energy and climate investment in U.S. history. Part of the bipartisan infrastructure law has a direct impact on our Great Lakes, which are near and dear to our local communities. That legislation will help pay for harbor operations and maintenance needs. Although the committee says when Republicans take control of the House in January, this committee will dissolve. They say there's room for bipartisan work on combating climate change. They see an opportunity for bipartisan climate change work in the upcoming Farm Bill. Farmers are uh, leading the charge now. They are awake to the harsh impacts of water shortages, extreme heat on their, their crops and products. The group lays out a huge list of recommendations for the next Congress, like moving more towards electrification of cars and buildings, more pollution reducing policies, and more. We must continue to fight for climate action that is bold, that is science-based, that is rooted in justice, and that it's beneficial to workers and families. At the Capitol, Rachel Knapp reporting.